the first reaction, copper is going to react with nitric acid to produce copper nitrate, nitrogen dioxide, and water. Now first, to balance the equation, you have to figure out how many of each element are on each side. There's one copper on this side, and one on this side. And then there's one hydrogen, and two on this side, because it's H2. For nitrogen, there's one on this side, and two there, because that's in brackets with the two, three. So three, and then there's three oxygen, and one, two, three, and then there's two of those, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let's start trying to even out nitrogen. So since there's three nitrogens on this side, we want to have three nitrogens on this side. So then that would change it to have three hydrogens, three nitrogens, and nine oxygens. So right now nitrogen and oxygen are equal. And so is copper, but hydrogen is not. So what we want to do next is even out the hydrogens. So since there are more on the left than there are on the right, you want to add more to the right. So let's start by putting a two there. See what happens. There are now four hydrogens there, and one more oxygen. That's ten. So now we have to go back to the left and get another oxygen. So let's change that to a four. See what happens. There are now twelve oxygens, four nitrogens, and four hydrogens. Now let's even out the oxygen again. We need two more. Since there are two oxygens there and the nitrogen is also not equal, four and three, if we double that, so there are now, there's now another nitrogen and two more oxygens. So now it is balanced. The bubbles indicate that a chemical reaction is occurring.